we managed to avoid it. But it could happen. And we know it will happen sometime. But <coughs> what we see is that following, sorry, following uh, our mission, how are we following this? And now I want you to, to uh, listen carefully because I think now I'm into what could be interesting for really uh, not using it only on ships or ship traffic, but also uh, how can uh, this technology be used for other things as well. AIS used to be uh, anti-pollution, could be used for other things as well. This has become the most important uh, system for monitoring, uh, for border control, uh, for... Gloria, really interesting, currently US trained engineers, one of whom studied in, uh, then went on to study environmental science in Sweden, went back to uh, Chile, identified a fishing net uh, uh, plastic problem, and they're producing uh, uh, skateboards and sunglasses using uh, uh, materials for fishing nets. And essentially what they're doing is they're working with the, uh, with the fish, uh, fishing communities to collect the uh, nets, bail those nets, distribute them to Santiago, and through injection moulding, producing the boards that they're exporting globally. Um, but the important thing, and the thing that I'm interested in and picking up some of the other projects, they have this not net positiva model where they're working closely with the fishermen. <coughs> they've got this inclusive model with the fishermen. So uh, by working with the fishing communities, they engage them and the fishing communities get something back. Who wins is always an issue. Somebody's got to win from this. So this is a very important model that I think can be recommended model. Yes, fishermen are part of the problem, but they're also part of the solution. And we have to say that, I, I believe. There's a lot of what I've learned. And everything in the first time, while we throw it away, we recycle everything. Okay, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>